bitches. Why is Antarctica considered a no-fly zone? It is widely believed that aircraft are prohibited from flying over Antarctica. While this sounds plausible, considering the unfriendly climate experienced in the region, it is not a fundamental fact. Flights are not banned or prevented from flying over Antarctica in the actual sense. Before we proceed, there is a video on this channel where we briefly discussed why airlines don't usually fly over Antarctica. We encourage you to watch that video to gain additional insight into flying across Antarctica. In the meantime, we will focus on today's question. Why is Antarctica considered a no-fly zone? To answer that, we will examine three reasons and urge you to stay on the channel. Poor visibility conditions. Visibility and flying go hand in hand, and Antarctica has proven not to have the best visibility to support flying. Many flight operations plying regular routes have been canceled in the past due to constant whiteouts because of the danger it poses. In Antarctica, bad climate conditions is usually an everyday occurrence and not considered safe for flying. Moreover, pilots are expected to maintain contact with the ground at all times, so they don't lose track of their location. The white tundras scattered across Antarctica can impede the pilot's visibility, which can be disastrous while airborne. It gets worse as the chances of pilots running into storms when flying over Antarctica are high. Storms are bad enough to deal with in regular circumstances, but they become potentially deadly due to the extreme weather conditions in the Antarctic region. As we progress, we will shed more light on these in a moment. Freezing Conditions in Antarctica Considered one of the coldest places on Earth, it takes months of specialized training to survive in Antarctica because it does not have the most welcoming climate for human activity. The few human settlements are strictly for researchers who are well-trained and equipped to navigate and survive the region, which is not for pleasure visits. So it is rare to see planes flying across. Furthermore, the freezing weather conditions are not suitable for anyone to risk a flying expedition because the temperature can go as low as negative 89.6 degrees Celsius. With the high possibility of aircraft running into ice, de-icing becomes expensive and challenging. That brings us to our ensuing discussion. De-icing is not economic friendly. The aeroplane wings are built such that a layer of ice or snow disrupts the airflow and inhibits the plane from taking off seamlessly. Since safety is a top priority when flying, de-icing planes becomes the best bet and safest option in relatively cold regions like Antarctica. The problem is that it costs hundreds of dollars per de-icing session, depending on how much fluid one has to apply and the size of the aircraft. In addition, one has to factor in the cost of other anti-icing measures like onboard electrical heating to keep the airplane wings warm to melt ice. Considering the hassles and monetary commitments it requires to fly a plane over the cold region of Antarctica, it becomes very expensive and not worth the risk. Also, it takes just a few minutes after de-icing for a plane to be safe to fly. The Antarctic region may not be able to beat the time frame. In essence, Antarctica is considered a no-fly zone, not because it is prohibited or illegal, but for the risk it poses, combined with the fact that there aren't many reasons to fly there. Before now, planes have been restricted as to how far they can fly away from diversionary airports in case of emergency. For this purpose, a plane flying across Antarctica will need clearance. Even though commercial flights across Antarctica are non-existent, tourist flights are possible, and there have been some historic flights across Antarctica in the past. What a fascinating, eye-opening piece! If presented with the opportunity to fly to Antarctica, are you willing to accept the offer? Let us know what you think in the comments section. Thank you for watching this video. Please don't forget to subscribe and turn on the notification bell.